Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, please drop a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on. It really helps out the channel, and let's get right into it. And today, whew, today was not a chill or good day. It was a freaking bad day. Look at the portfolio, down 10%, and of course, we're just getting completely obliterated the portfolio. But right now, I'm okay. I'm doing fine. I actually was able to deposit a lot of money in the past couple of days. So I've been able to bring down my margin from like around 8,000 to 6,500. I'm almost close to that goal that I wanted to do by the end of the year. I wanted to get down to under $6,000 into the $5,000 range. So hopefully if I keep working a lot more, uh, maybe the next check I'll be able to get to that goal. And maybe we can finally start buying some stocks and some crypto because crypto crypto has been having its collapse already like look at this look at this in today down 8.79 percent so far and it was down even lower than that down 14 percent oh that was probably a good opportunity to get some if you wanted to but for me i'm kind of like iffy about it i'm kind of gonna wait a little bit more obviously i still have to pay off some margin before i even think about buying but I would like to buy some ethereum if it can get under a thousand dollars that would be very awesome i would probably be very ecstatic if that does happen again but the main reason why is right here look at this right here investors fear potential ftx bankruptcy spilling over to the reeling crypto stock markets and obviously it's been affecting the big boys ethereum all, everything everything has been affecting everything if you look at the portfolio uh shopify almost every single stock down except for one meta of course meta is the one that is up even even though it's been down tremendously even at this price meta is such a freaking beast of a buy i would totally be buying some right now if i had the money and uh you could have had a meta for eight under 90 bucks uh will we have an opportunity to get some more meta under 100 bucks maybe probably hopefully uh i would love to get meta i would love to get more meta i would like to build up meta, my meta position up to into the four figures maybe if i eventually if it lasts long i could probably get it to five figures just depends how much i work stuff like that and just look at the devastation roblox 21 percent down in one day 21 percent and that's not even and this hasn't even hit the lowest point yet uh will it get back down to 23 i have no idea uh, let's see what's going on of course mrs expectations boom down wrecked nobody cares about revenue they everyone cares about profits and margins and look at that boom down eps down huge huge right there roblox boom down lucid oh at 11 bucks at 11 dollars what is the 52 week low are we hitting 52 week low right now did, did what's today what 52 week low yep today was a 52 week low for lucid just getting obliterated obliteration fubo one that i'm really interested in i actually would like to get a thousand shares of this I really would have wanted to keep going down. Please keep going down. Fubo, please go down to 250. Just keep going down. What's the 52 we low for this? Yep. Go down to the 52 we low. I would like to get 1,000 shares. Look at that. Robin Hood. Uh, destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Um, we still haven't hit that 52 we low. $6. I mean, I remember at one point that at uh robin had more cash than the whole market cap that's fuck freaking crazy <laughs> and look at that disney one of the safer ones down 13 percent down 51 percent over year this year that's crazy neo neo's just disappointing man neo just keep disappointing me man keep disappointing me i want to buy more neo stock but i want to get all my positions up at least to a thousand dollars uh palantir i really want to get palantir a uh, pretty big position volunteer i want to get a couple thousand in this couple couple thousand in charge point ttcf couple thousand paypal a pretty good deal right now would totally be buying it iipr also another one that i really like a lot has a nice dividend and everything would totally like to buy this i think this one's under 100 bucks i don't know if it was under 80 or under 90 yep yep look at that 52 we know hey, uh where's 52 oh 87 there we go 87 dollars uh, one that I'm really interested in. Um, look at that Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin was under sixteen thousand for one point. That's crazy. Can we go lower? Probably. Will it go lower? Most likely. Just a bunch of devastation all over the place. Look at that. Tesla is getting 
very very intriguing man i really want to get some tesla honestly i really i really need to keep working hard to get this money back because i really want to buy so many things but i just don't have any money guys i don't have any money right now and i think it's a smart idea just a pay down margin pay down margin i mean i haven't even been close to getting a margin call this year except for maybe in march i think around this time i was getting close to getting a margin but i had a total i had like fifteen thousand dollars margin was able to pay it down a lot but now we're almost getting close to where we can start buying again. And I am very interested in a lot of things. A lot of things. Look at that. Only two stocks were in the green today. That's wild. And like I said, I think for the most part, we've probably already seen 52-week loads for all the small caps. I mean, they're going back. They might revisit it, the lows. I don't know if they will break past them. But for the most part, I think these babies... I think it's right now best opportunity to buy, and in a couple months I think the bigger cap stocks like uh, Amazon, Meta. I don't even think maybe Meta might have hit a low, but I think earnings might continue to go down. So we might see them go down even lower than they have already. So we might see Meta, Amazon. We might see um, the big boys like uh, Disney. We might see um, Tesla go down a lot more. We might see NVIDIA go down more. We might see, like these babies right here, Shell, ExxonMobil. We might see Amazon go down more, Chevron, Visa, those babies. Apple, I'm waiting for Apple to get destroyed. Apple's in the, what? 130s, wow. So we went, Apple's didn't, been going down for a little while now. I want to see Apple down to the hundreds, man. We want to see it down to the $100 range. That would be nice. I think once Apple starts going down, boom, we're going to start seeing Walmarts. How much is Walmart even down? Only a little bit, yeah. When do you see that baby go down? When do you see... Uh, I don't know Nike's, but I think Nike's been going down for a little while. Yep, yep, Nike's going down. Berkshire will go down once Apple go down, goes down. So that's two big boys. JP Morgan, how is this one doing? 22%. How did it do today? It didn't do that bad. Come on. Coca-Cola up yeah we need to see these ones right here these is the group that we need to see go down coca-cola pfizer johnson johnson starbucks avi costco i know i think costco is doing pretty good right yeah decent decent basically even mcdonald's oh mcdonald's is doing very good but yeah but today what happened with the crypto whew, absolutely wrecked wrecked i really want to get some ethereum man i really do really really want to i want to get one coin at least one coin a couple coins eventually how low will ethereum go i have no idea man will it revisit the lows most probably maybe hopefully i want to be a buyer but yeah uh portfolio is down hella down 70 basically 75 percent so gonna be a little while until we get back to that point um i'll probably be able to deposit many thousand dollars more by next year so if we can keep keep buying at low points and once the market recovers hopefully we'll be able to get back there faster if we were not going to deposit right so the more we can deposit now the more we can average down on these on the good positions uh, the better uh, you guys know my potential potential opportunities i've been talking about this every video fubo high risk high reward right there bitcoin they're up ethereum they're in a bad place right now i think they will go down more charge point tesla tesla i think that might go down a lot more amd nvidia i think those ones will go down more so i'll start small position them and average down as time goes on and all the original positions i have i will continue to average down with buying a couple of indexes and i'll probably put 10 to 15 percent of my money in in it just leave it there so i'll probably put a couple thousand dollars into uh, QQQ and VOO so maybe I'll put a thousand in that and a thousand in VOO and every time I, uh, my portfolio goes up I keep increasing those positions just to uh, be a little more safer than I usually am because right now I'm super high risk super high risk basically most of the positions I have are non-profit non-profitable positions Shopify not anymore not making a profit man and they've been losing money. They need to change that up a little bit. Palantir, same thing. Charge point, same freaking thing. Make they need to start making some money. 
he see how same thing PayPal. One of the ones that one of the few ones that are making profits. IIPR same thing. Then there's Meta, Amazon, Neo. These ones they need to make some profits. Meta, Amazon, of course, you know they're the big boys. MP Materials, another one that's making some profit. Pretty good. Uh, if these stats are right, this is a pretty good right here. Twenty two. It doesn't. I think it doesn't really show any stats over here but i think this is a pretty good one to be honest and this one's been holding up pretty decently compared to everything else mp materials very good very good but yeah devastation guys devastation keep it together keep it together but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one that was a little quick update for you guys so yeah like subscribe do all that stuff peace